So this guy, um, he's just given his opinion on nightclubs. If when couples go to nightclubs and if they should be going out alone or if they should be going together or not. All right. Most disrespectful thing in a relationship is if your man or your woman are still going to nightclubs when you guys are together and you think, oh, we should go to get, no, 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 sweetheart. The moment you're in a relationship, your nightclub days should have been over a long time ago. You are out there. You are out there and there's guys and girls ready to try to tempt you and take you home. And I know some of y'all are like, oh no, I would never cheat on my man. It doesn't matter, sweetheart. There's liquor pouring up. There's good looking guys. There's good looking girls. It just kind of happens. You don't know what's going to happen. So for you to put your man or for you men to put your women in that situation goes both ways. It's disrespectful. Bro, I want to go to sleep in peace, not go to sleep at all. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to stay up all day to know she got home safe and make sure she ain't, she ain't with no dude, right? So y'all, when you're in a relationship, you better have that phase out of your life. And both of you going to a nightclub, stupid. That's one of the worst decisions of your life. Go to dinner, go to the movies, go bowling. Enjoy your time together. Not needing to be around people that are going to try to hit on your girl or hit on your man the moment you walk away. Back when I was you younger, I'd, I'd go to nightclubs with my girl yeah. in a situation. Dance, and then, you know, we go back home and beat each other's pelvises up. I think this guy is just insecure. I was going to say the same exact thing. Well, he's what he's saying, though, is I get truthful. it. It's yeah. like going by, if you're in a relationship or you're married and you're, because that's another thing I see a lot. Of is that guys are married and they're oh it's girls night out and it's like girls night out two three times a month yeah but he never gets invited and the the girls she's going with are all single and some of them are not single but they're obviously cheating on their significant others and if your girl is going out and hanging out with people that are cheating you are who you associate with mm -hmm. and if he's the guy's never invited it you know you see that a lot the only reason a woman's going out to a nightclub and not taking her boyfriend or her husband. Is because she's seeking attention from other men. That's just a fact of life. Yeah. But if she just wanted to go out and dance, she's going to want you to come with her. And if you're not interested in doing that, then she's not going to go. She'll, she'll want to do something with you. If she loves you, she's going to be stuck to you like a sucker fish. Right. But if she doesn't care that much about you and she's going out and doing things like that or going to Las Vegas or going to Dubai <laughs> with her girlfriends all the time, She's going and getting dicked down by other dudes mm -hmm. looking for somebody better while she keeps you thinking that she's in a relationship with you. And a lot of guys will put up with it. They'll make excuses and go, well, I don't want to be controlling. I don't want to be insecure. Mm -hmm. And I've seen pretty much 100% of the time when women are doing that, there's always cheating or shit going on because I hear the phone sessions all the time. Yeah. Well, I think that um, like if she's doing it all the time, yes, okay, she's a bad seed. But let's say there's like five of the girls, they're all going out, they're like moms or married, what have you, and they're like, we just want to go out, you know, once a month and go dancing or whatever with the girls, and then you come back home to your husband or your significant other. I don't see anything wrong with that. But if you're constantly going out and then you're staying I can out, I see going like, out and having a few drinks or going to a wine, like wine bar. But if women are, you know, are all married or in relationships or going out till three in the morning, yeah, that's not good. Then yeah. yeah, they're looking for attention from other men. They're not going out to go dancing and have fun with their girlfriends. Yeah. If you want to get together and go have fun with your girlfriends, you're gonna probably go to dinner, maybe have some drinks. Maybe go over to somebody's house and, you know, the guys will go out. And so it's just the girls hanging out, yeah. having wine and talking, sharing stories or talking about their kids or whatever. They're not going to be going out clubbing. Yeah. Girls that are going out clubbing exclusively once or twice a month are going out because they're not satisfied at home. They don't have peace. I don't, I don't believe that. Like the girls can go out and go dancing by themselves and then come back home. And, not like... if you're married, not if you're in a relationship, not if you have kids. That's just not something a family-oriented woman is going to do. That's just a fact of life. Well, sometimes you want to go out and dance. Yeah, maybe if you're 22 years old, but not when you're 30, 35, or 40. Uh, no, I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> like, um, I don't I... like... like the guys went out to have fun doing whatever they're doing. The girls went out. So what's, I don't. Well, you don't see anything wrong with it because you have talked about you have cheated in the past. So, and been cheated on. Yeah. So your value system's a little different. 
But if you're I'm not sure doing your boyfriend wrong. Jack is not going to like hearing that you want to go out to a nightclub once or twice a month with a bunch of girls he doesn't know and stay out till three. Not anymore. girls he doesn't know. Of course, he's going to know my friends. He's like, okay, girls. And he's go never out invited. Out. Never gets to go along. Uh, yeah, of course he can go along, but why would he want to no, go with guys are never girls? invited? That's the difference. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not saying the that. women never take the guys in these situations. Okay. They're not. Welcome. Oh, well, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about like a good, good system of girls going out. Are you having... still going to nightclubs and partying at 32, 33? No. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. If you're 21, 22, yeah, something like that. But a woman in her 30s, a woman's got kids or got a family at home. You, a guy's not going to want to be married to that. It doesn't matter. Oh, she went out with her five girlfriends. It's like if you're in your 30s and you got kids at home and you're staying home by the guy staying home watching the kids and while his girlfriend or his wife goes out with a bunch of women that he doesn't know. Usually, because the, the guy's never typically involved with these other women. Usually half of them are single and the other half are cheating on their spouses. So she's hanging out with a bunch of people that don't value loyalty. And the only reason she's going to want to go clubbing like that is because she wants to get hit on. She's seeking attention from other men. A loyal woman's not going to do that. Well, I'm thinking about like a good system of girls, not like girls that go out like every week and they're like dressed in slutty outfits. Right. I like to do that, I mean, at least once. A month or like not even every other week, like maybe every three weeks or something. Just get up, get dressed really nice. But I'm not going to a club club where it's like oops, oops kind of music, but it's kind of like outdoor bar, but they play music. People yeah. Dance. I do that with my gay friends, too. Yeah. I go with my girlfriends. Some of them are in a relationship and some aren't. But majority of the time, I'm always inviting him like, hey, do you want to come? But keep in mind, you're going to be the only guy there. So I don't want you to feel left out. And then yeah. he, he, he'll he be like, oh, yeah, just go. Just have fun. But we're usually doing it in the day and not like nighttime clubbing because I just feel like that's a whole different singles. Well, vibe. you're not staying out till 2 in the morning. You'll yeah. get home at like 1030. We like to go out like 2 p.m. where it's like day drinking in a way and then come home by like 6 or something. Yeah, because what happens in these cases, it's like the girl's going out and doing that, and she has this group of friends, she's drinking too much or whatever. And then what you also see is that these the women that are exhibiting this kind of behavior, she doesn't have a core group of close friends. She doesn't have girls, girlfriends that go back 15, 20 years to her childhood. It's usually she's hanging out with a group of new people. Half of them are single, half of them are screwing around on their partners or whatever. Then they have a falling out, and then she comes across a new group of people, and then she goes out and hangs out with them. That's the thing that you know that I see over and over is a lack of loyalty. There's a lack of loyalty to the men, and the fact these women can't maintain friendships for any length of time with other women. Yeah. And it's usually because there's drama, there's backbiting, backstabbing, they're trying to rip off each other's boyfriends and husbands and it's just it's the kind of people that they're hanging out with yeah but and so that's you know it's not a once in a blue moon type of thing it's regular behavior like every weekend oh yeah, that, that's, yeah three that's times a month saying. it's like maybe once a year or something like that yeah. but you know even still it's like a woman's not going to like it if her husband wants to go with all of his single guy friends to you know, and stay out till three or four in the morning, knowing that there's going to be a bunch of hot single girls there. Yeah, they're going to be in that group. Like, what's and probably the point? Hitting. Yeah, exactly. Like, what are you doing? No, out I there? understand that. Like, most of my friends that I've I hang out with, I've had been friends with them for a long time. So, and Jack knows all of my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. So, I've learned, and that. they're all married and have kids. So. Yeah, at the end of the day, if if a woman's married and has got a family and she still wants to go out clubbing all the time, it's like that's not, not all the a time. Just chick. just like again, once in a blue moon. That's child behavior. That's what kids do. That's not what adults tend to do. I'm not saying it's, it's a okay. fun phase when you're young, but you're not gonna be doing that shit in your 30s. Yeah, not all the time, but and somebody every that once wants to go while. out like, again. When's the last time you went clubbing? I don't know. Exactly. It's like you're talking out your butt right now. <laughs> no, I'm not saying like, but if you get your girlfriends together, like if you get them all together, you can go out. That's okay. But not all the time. Yeah, but you're not even doing that. You're yeah, throwing a hypothetical have... out there. Well, okay. <laughs> That's the point I'm talking about. It's people that are constantly cheating or want to do those things. They're putting them in situations to invite attention from other men. And a guy that's family oriented, he's not going to want to be with a woman that's like that. If you're, if you're, if you need that much stimulation, if you're not unhappy enough, and you're in your 30s and you need to go out clubbing all the time, it's like you, you in your mind, your mentality is you're single. 
and you're looking for something better or somebody else or maybe just a, a quickie or a one night stand. Well, you're also insecure if you're going out all the time. Yeah. I don't know. When I was single um, about three months ago, <laughs> um, I was definitely out clubbing. I was definitely out meeting guys and having fun and feeling free. But ever since I got in a relationship, I did try to do that like the first month. And I'm just like, I'm bored. Like, I don't really care to be hit on. I don't care for these guys to offer me drinks. I'm like, I have a boyfriend. Why am I even here telling people I have a boyfriend? Like, I should just be home. Um, and then I found out there's a, a bunch of other fun things to do, like wine testing, painting with a twist where you go paint and you yeah. drink. Um, Are you drinking again? Are you off the wagon? No, I don't drink. Like, no. Um, there's like pole dancing classes, cold. yoga classes. There's so many. Pole dancing th- classes? Yeah. It's good for ab strength and leg stuff. but Oh, and upper ob- body strength. But nice. there's just so many things on Groupon that you You're can do. Pretty good do. pole dancing? I haven't tried it yet. Groupon's still in business. Yeah. I, I haven't know. heard that company name in a long time. I know, me either. <laughs> you get like three sessions for 50 bucks, which isn't bad. But yeah, like in my group of friends, I kind of built them to be like the same way. I have a lot of church girlfriends or girlfriends that don't like to drink or go go out because I'm just like not in that scene anymore. And the friends that I used to like go partying and all that stuff with, I don't really talk to anymore. Because it's like I talk to them. They're like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? Let's go to the And I'm like, no, that's boring. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to drink. I don't want to be out till like 2 in the morning. I think the last time I went to the club was like December. Or no, November maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I hated it. Mm-hmm. There's like so many people around. Everybody's like acting ridiculous. And I was dressed nice to go to dinner. Mm-hmm. And then they wanted to go, like, my friends wanted to go to the club. Like, a guy was dating and his friend. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I went and I was like, this is not fun for me. It's expensive, too. You got to pay for parking. You got to open your own doors because your man isn't there. Like, that's Oh, not, damn, opening my own door. Not fun anymore. I to keep those extra calories. I have to pay for my own drinks. It's just like, I'd rather just be my, with my man right now. You got to pay for my own drinks. I do like going out with my guy clubbing. I think that's fun. We get to dance on each other, act like we're little kids flirting again, getting drinks. Me and Jack went to a, well, we went to our first concert, but then we went to like um, a place. They had like a band or whatever. And he went to the bar to pick up drinks and some girl was like, he bumped into her and then she tried to like pick him up and he was just like, uh, uh, and then just like turned around (laughs) and just like ignored her. So, yeah. 